Hello and welcome to Witchy 101 with myself, Willow, my beautiful sisters, Drew, and my beautiful sister, Mystical. So we are here tonight, guys, and bringing you on Witchy 101, a class about altars and your magical tools, how you use them, how they are important to your altars, and why it is good to have some of these on your altars as well guys so first we're just going to introduce yourself so i will put you over to one of the sisters to go first who would like to introduce yourself first drew go ahead that's the cool Mystical. Cool. wait which way is drew is drew this way that okay yeah. Drew, you go yeah. first go first drew no you go first you always go first you go first <laughs> okay so i am a mystical love and light and i do all kinds of things on my channel it's just not witchy stuff or it's what it is is i have a, a, a whole list of playlists okay and i cover so many things and actually today i even added on also including my like homestead life because of all the things that I do. So I have playlists pertaining to crystals, to spiritual workings, to oils, uh, powders, prayers. I have paranormal investigation videos, uh, pendulum, uh, cards, throwing bones, osteomancy playlist, um, magical recipes, just family happenings, miscellaneous stuff. Um, uh, we do the, uh, all three of us, we do together the uh, Strange and Unknown and also the Your Path, the Witchy Path. Anybody wants to come on the channel and tell about their Witchy Path. Uh, mending oils and recovery oils that you use for uh, topical. So, um, yeah, I have the Magic Garden and a playlist <laughs> telling all about how to use tinctures and of course some puppies and so it's like puppies. i'm rolling down my playlist and yeah <laughs> and i have got so much stuff on there it's unreal so whatever you're we into take a week and you, you. you want to check out the playlist you can see everything on there okay that's my bit <laughs> over to sister drew you sure i think you've missed a few things I probably did, but I was trying to shorten it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. My name is Drew. A lot of you do know me as Drew, but I also Hi. am a Fina from Broomsticks and Pentagrams. Uh, I have now also just launched my new website, which is Broomsticks and Pentagrams for all my spiritual stuff that you all know me for. But there's also a new adventure on there which is called Mystical Woodland Advisors. So where I'm a spiritual advisor, a spiritual influencer, also a paranormal researcher, a paranormal advisor, all things like that. So please check out the new uh, websites that I have got up for all that. But typically I'm known for my paranormal around Scotland, nature walks and things I'm trying to do more of this year and things so hang around for that and identifying some plants and things in my area that i think's here so keep an eye on that if you like the witchy stuff and the nature stuff so just a little mixture of things guys so all i can say is hang around and see what's next <laughs> and i want to add in i want to add in before sherry tells hers congratulations drew since you graduated today on all of that yes thank you yeah, it's been great, honestly. I've loved every minute of it. I think it's been a great course to learn. And also, guys, I can learn some of the other sisters and things. Sister Sherry, I can help her when I go visit her. I'll put her up a website and things, not a problem. And I'll get her all set up in her shop and things while I'm there. Just help her along a little bit. And anybody else that's in the UK, I can help you as well, hopefully. So don't be shy in asking, guys, if you are also at the beginning of your path try to open up a shop or a website because i'm here to help you okay you sure you yeah no that anything? is that is amazing news <laughs> it is amazing news and definitely a congratulations to sister drew and she's absolutely amazing she's been doing amazing as well so i can't wait to Thank get you. my shop up and running Welcome so obviously everybody. i'm i'm willow 
for my as a witch and i'm also known as sherry on pwi i am somebody that does the paranormal and does investigations i'm into all things strange and unknown i'm a witch i like to put all sorts of things up on my channel everything from witch to paranormal to normal walkout streams to streams where i'm investigating and streams where i'm giving you education on witchy stuff all sorts of things guys so like my sisters we're a bit of a mix of everything guys so if you really like a channel that's busy and out there and really cares about educating other people and things then we're definitely the channels for you guys so that's a little bit about me as well but a lot of you know us anyway but for the newcomers welcome in yes welcome and hello welcome everybody guys and hello, hello honey. Everyone. hey 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 uh christina's in welcome and mr uh, lee yeah hello, hi lee. christina and uh, steven and carrie um, welcome in everybody thank you for joining so us on friday night again don't forget to like and share please guys i already yeah, well, make like. sure that you've got your pens yeah, and paper like on you because you're going to need to write a lot of stuff down tonight because you're going to need to be able to remember it so pens and papers yes welcome in chad yeah hey, tonight chad. we've got to do a lot i think i said that in the facebook po po post as well guys to bring it make sure you bring your notepads tonight or even make sure you do go back over it again, maybe even a couple of times, because there'll be a lot of information shared about where you place things and things like that. So, Sister yeah, and I mentioned that. And she's, yeah, and I mentioned that, that on my stream today. I done a oh, yeah, that's stream right. about two right. hours ago, and I did say about Witchy One Hundred and One, bring your pens and papers along. It's about altars and tools and Good. stuff. And yeah, and we've all done it. We've all told you. So. Our plans mm -hmm. are, is we're going to often talk to you about the altars, the tools, what they represent, what they're good for. But we're also going to give you a little run in on like the things about how we, we cleanse and we do things to, to keep our practices in order. So you, you definitely want to be jotting oh, this Dad. information down. This is key to mm -hmm. jot down, guys. This is the beginning of your craft if you're coming into it. So. Yep, definitely. Well, I did some research. I have done loads and loads of, uh, uh, to be honest, this week's not stopped because it's been constant videos coming out and constant videos being made. But I have managed to get some stuff to go on for this show, like, and stuff like that. So, and then sisters can say what they want as well. Like, obviously, a lot of us yeah, already know what, what, like, the altars and stuff are. And yeah, if I let me do, hang on a minute, I'm just trying to move my laptop as well. Okay, being scared it, about knocking it off but if you can see, as i said we yes, all say yes. to you about having your secret areas obviously up here is where and my altars are yes. obviously <laughs> he's modeling not altars, he's modeling yeah <laughs> they're all at the back yeah so i'm going to put my altars here so that's where my altars are that when the first thing before you even get your altar that is actually determine where you're going to have your altar and magical practice mm -hmm. somewhere that's going to be secret and okay Hi, to it. you don't want to be having a lot of people coming in and disturbing you while you're practicing and doing things like that so you do need to find an, a, an area in your home where you can do your worshiping and your call outs to your entities and all those special yeah. things mm -hmm. anything you want yep, to say sisters? You do. well i was just going to say Remember, guys, as well, remember what you're doing the altar for. We've got altars for many different reasons, okay? When I first started this path and I kind of wanted to... I knew about altars and things because I started to research what actually happened. I wanted to connect to spirit, as you all know that, and I, I realised it was through witchcraft. And then I started to think, I seen all about the giving offerings and things. So I wanted to pay... Like a kind of respect to that. So the the videos I had seen, they had put like there was always statues, there was water and things like that on like a bit essentially a sideboard or whatever your table. So I, I looked more into that. And remember, I wanted my altar at first to connect. I wanted to connect to the spirit that I'd seen in my toilet, which was Santa Marta. So I'd aimed all my altar at her. 
where I'd stuck to the basics, which Sister Sherry will go into a little bit more about all the placings and things of like that, guys. But when I did mine, it was to focus on her. So I got my statue, which actually was a statue that wasn't even about her. It was a statue just of the Grim Reaper, but I adjusted it to her. And I gave her my hair underneath our nun's um, habit. That's her hair, my hair she's got underneath there and i started because i was getting the witchy box at the time i started to give her like little necklaces and things i'd got there maybe like some of the herbs i started putting out for her some of the oils i would put on her head and things so the more that i researched about her the more my oil, my oil was aimed at her but then the more i get into the craft i wanted to also make an altar for the the elementals, the the four the, the four seasons, north Drina, get your act. <laughs> north, east, south, and west watch towers. I've spoke that much today, guys. I'm just getting. In fact, I've spoke spoke that much in the last week. But anyway, oh, yes. So I wanted to pay homage to all of that because my research was going down that line. So I also started to set up a little side table that was aimed at them. So what you're all are for is important, okay? So think a little bit about that and maybe jot it down. Have a wee think about what you're wanting your all are for. And then maybe we can give you a little bit more advice on how that altar gets set up. Yeah, definitely. System Mystical, you got anything to say? Um, I was just going to say, like on my altars, I have my ancestor altars um, on this side over here. And I have both sides, the Aztec and the Cherokee. You will hear, hey Kim, you will hear <coughs> some people I saying can't. that don't don't use your altar for two different things. Just dedicate your altar to one thing. Well, the yeah. way that I see it is on my ancestors, they're both me. So why would yeah. I not combine them together? So I have uh, the altar that is for like i say the aztec side and the cherokee side to give offerings to them to you know thank them for everything that they do for me every day i also have a money altar that i also use there also and then i have i'm going to do a archangel uh altar and because lee had a couple of Christmases back he had bought me a um, Archangel Michael uh, oh, like statue figurine mm -hmm. yeah and beautiful. my brother had also got me one and I think it was the same year neither one of them knew that each other was getting it for me but my brother had a whole lot of different angels that he kept since he was an ordained minister well, yeah. when he passed and we gave everything away, I made sure I kept all of those. Yeah. And I put them up, I boxed them all up and, and put them away. And then once summer starts coming around, you know, that I can go through the boxes and try to figure out what box I put them in, I'm going to take them yeah. out. And then I'm going to make the whole top shelf uh, behind, be nice. behind right here and put yeah. all of those and dedicate for the archangel michael and i'm going to do an altar there for that beautiful it's thank very, you christine yes. it's, hello christine sweetheart oh, hello kim sweetheart oh, so like everybody does their always differently so like for me like i've got the one that you're sitting on at the minute that's not an altar at the minute that is actually going to be my nature altar is to do with my nature and all of my energies like my dragons yeah, that's coming up next um yeah. you've got my main altar that has my goddesses my gods on there i will have my elements and things on there that's what i normally would use for like my rituals and my spell work and for anything i'm trying to put out for anybody or for our world i then got my um ancestors and my spirit family up on the top of the uh, fish tank and then next to it i've got the dedication to the lord and to the angels and all of the di more divine energies then i've got my spirit guardian altar, which is to do with all of my guides and my animal totems and all of that so i've got about five altars guys the um obviously the the nature one's not properly set up yet because I'm still getting bits for that. 
and like the, the, the sisters I love I've got figurines that dedicate to the gods and the goddesses I've got plates that are especially dedicated to my main goddess Freya I've got obviously the pentagram plate on there oh, obviously anybody that knows about the pentagram and it being on your altar it gives yeah. the strength and the power to your um workings and stuff like that obviously you've got your things like your wands my dragons on my main altar at the minute because i'm actually working with them at the minute i've got a lot of information to be bringing you in show soon about Good. the dragons mm -hmm. and the fake and everything there's Look a lot of stuff every year Welcome your own is your own thing guys like you like we can give you information and detail about how to set up as long as you put certain things like your chalice and things in certain places you can put your other bits wherever you want to to be honest i've i've met women and gentlemen that are witches and they don't put their chalices and stuff the way that it's been demonstrated to us to do we the only yeah. things that need to really be in the right places are your element candles and stuff like that and calling out to them but again when you call out to them they know who you're signifying to so just yeah. mm -hmm. you know in general your altar, you need your altar to do magic and to do what we're doing you do need to have your altars to be able what to do, do you read a little bit about the altar oh, well, um, there's do a you want to read a bit about it it's just a cut it's not it's not that long and then you can read yeah no you your... do your bit and then i'll get my little bit up about it as well it's not loads it's you don't just... really need much to be honest yeah, it's just your altar is your own sacred space and deeply personal to you. It should always be a place where you love to go, to meditate, to seek guidance, to perform spell work and more. If you have room, it can be a permanent feature or space is scarce. You can lay it out where you when needed. Your altar can be laid out on any flat surface. The kit included with the study pack, that's because I got this in a pack, will give you the main items you need and we'll explain what Sister Sherry will get into all that, guys. I just want to say this bit to you. You can also place items on your altar that are special to you, such as crystals, jewellery, photographs, talismans, etc. And you will start to build all that up, guys. I have laid out, a, see, that's the basic altar, but so that's what we're going to tell you. The basic altar, Sister Sherry will tell you all about that. But through time, you'll find little trinkets that you'll get the urge is to go in your altar. Even if you're out in nature and th things, you'll maybe see a stone and you'll say, oh, that'd be good for my altar. Things like that, always listen to it because it's building up the energy of your sacred space. And remember, that's what it is. It's where you have chosen in your home, wherever it can be outside. It's where you have chosen to pick, to connect to your inner self, Mother Nature, whoever it may be. So it is sacred to you, which, as Sister Sherry said, everybody's is different in things. We all will have probably a different one at the end of the day, but it basically stays the same for the principles, you know? Yeah. Mr. Mystical, anything you want to say? Um, I'm just going to say, to give them, like, some examples, say, say, for example, like, on my money altar, I have a green vase, and that's what I'll drop uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, whatever, you know, I give an offering. You don't have to give a whole lot. It's the gesture that's behind it. I have herbs that pertain to money on my altar. I have those, like... Um, uh, those nickel, you know, like those wooden nickels, because it yeah. represents money. I have yeah. that on there. I have some penny blanks that hasn't even been stamped that Lee gave me. I have that on there. I have magnets on there for attraction. I yeah. have uh, crystals on there that we dug up ourselves. I have Pyrax stone on there that represents money. Um, I have the um, alligator foot. Uh, supposed to bring yeah. in good luck. I have my dragon on there since my since my um, spirit animal is a dragon. I have a bow with low stones in it and the magnetic sand in it. I have a bow of water on there. So it's like whatever you feel that you need to put on your altar, that's what you put on. Like they said, like Sherry and, and Drew says, it's all going to be different on what you put. It's whatever 
you feel that you need to put. Yeah. So I can give you like a um, give you like some basic information and stuff about altars and why they're important and stuff. Okay. So firstly, I'm I'm, I'm gonna so I'm gonna read out what I've got here. Okay, and then I'll explain a little bit to you. So what goes on an altar? Okay, so. The only limit to what you can put on your Wiccan altar or your normal altar is your imagination. You can put whatever you like, it's your altar. Mm -hmm. Okay. That being said, there are some ritual tools that are commonly found on your altar. We'll go through those so that you can understand a little bit more about what they are. Your, your altar is partly a magical spell for your life. As your magical altar or Wiccan altar, pagan altar explains. So I'm just going to share with you some of the things you need to look out for when starting to bring up and start working with your altars. Put on new things that give you positive feeling when you look at them onto your altar. You want something that you are very like in communication with, you feel a connection with. So you need to be able to feel things such as being like inspired, loving, peaceful, encouraged, relevant and grateful, etc. Things like that, okay? Altar tools and more. One of the most meaningful offerings for your altar can be as simple as a gift from nature. A leaf, a pine cone, a crystal, it can be a flower, whatever you find that's really unique to you out in nature and you maybe it drawed you in and you felt to pick that up. That could be something you could give to your altar as an offering to your deities and energies. It They like anything that comes from the heart, okay? And when you do it, bring it with that divination. Obviously, you want to communicate with them. You want to connect with them. You want them to know that you're there and you're, you're associating yourselves with them. So do that. But do that respectfully and understandably. What you've got to remember is these energies are going to work with you, guide you, and teach you. So it's very important to have your relationship with your deities as well. You can have decorations on your altars, as well as having all of your trinkets and all your pretty witchy stuff that you put up on there, such as your pentagrams, your pentacles, your chalices, all these sort of things. You can put your own touches to it as well, putting really pretty fake vines round or putting little flowers. Whatever you feel really brightens up your altar. While your magical items may be various or personal, on a typical altar... There are certain Wiccan symbols and altar tools that are arranged in a specific order. The most basic tools are representations of the four directions and elements and the four powers of the witch. Pentacle for the north, anthem for the east, wand for the south, and chalice or cauldron for the west. Now, north is your earth, east is your air, self is fire, and then you have your water. You can also represent your spirit element into that as well. A lot of witches will do earth, water, fire, air, and spirit. Mm -hmm. Spirit just represents the energy mm -hmm. and the power of the deities, the energy and representation of the magic. So it is really good to bring that in if that is something you want to. But not everybody uses all, all five of them. Some of them only use all four. Some put wood, wood in. It's whatever you film. You can get by with these. In fact, you can get by with nothing but a representation of the divine. What I mean by this is sometimes you don't even need to get anything else. You could just have those simple stuff on there. and just, Because all of the love... And all of the dedication and all of the intention and work that you're bringing into your magical practice, it comes from you. Your tools are just that empowering energy and that energy that will help to bring it to a place it needs to be in. Okay, it directs it to where it needs to go. Mm -hmm.
So some of the other ritual objects that you could put onto your OR. So you can put anything you like on your OR besides the altar tools and symbols. Stones are very common altar items. Gemstones have different properties and can be selected to bring healing or draw energies to your altar. On the meaning of gemstones and precious metals, you can look these sort of things up online and stuff, guys. You can look up what crystals and what gems represent. You can look up and see what things like candles and feathers and stuff represent as well. Obviously, a lot of people that are witches, that they will represent their colours into the altar. So it'd be like your element colours. There may be specific colours and energies that may be associated to your deities and your gods and goddesses and so on. This is why I always like to specify to you that it's very important to always do your education and your research first. Okay, you need to understand what each of your ritual items are going to be so your tools Thank you, Luna. you're going to need to have a representation and understanding of what your altar means you're going to have to have representation of what your deities and you like your gods goddesses um spirit guides spirit animals are represented to because there may be certain amulets and things that you put out for them there may be certain herbs or incense or certain things that they like at certain seasons so it's really mm -hmm. good to to look up on your deities and things that they like. Mm -hmm. What you've got to remember is when you're going into magic and you're working with your alt and you're working with your deities, you're binding a contract between you and that energy, okay? So anytime you call out to them and ask them to come forward to you in favour to help you, it's always important to remember to give back to them. They don't have to help you and they don't have to guide you. It's all about mutual respect and understanding of each other, okay? Mm -hmm. So... You can't ask for something and then not give something back. These energies are very powerful and very ancient and very secret. So it's very important to remember to respect and to understand their ways and how they act. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know if the sisters want me to go and actually speak through the whole list of the um, altar tools. And a lip, there's like little descriptions that I've got down there as well that just explains it all. Yeah, just it's, just up go through to, it. it's up to you, whatever. I would just go through it, and then if there's anything yeah, you no, want, that, yeah, I think when I just like yeah. take, like take yeah. over, and then you feel like I'm like, yeah, I don't know, sure. like, well, that's, that's and, fine because then people may have questions about it. Guys, right, Sister yeah, Sherry works right. really hard on mm -hmm. shows, especially this week. It's the last take, two weeks because I've been able. She's done really good. Really I take this very, very seriously. If you're going to come into the craft, you need to take it seriously, okay? This is not yeah. a joke and this is not a laughing matter. Very dangerous mean... things can happen if you do not educate and learn yourself, okay? It's okay yeah. to sit there and listen to somebody with a 15-minute video telling you how to do this and work with whatever diet, but where's all the information and the stuff to help you to do that correctly? That is my opinion. Okay, if we're going to educate, we're going to well, educate Abby, you. You'll learn something, sis. Anyway, sweetheart, yeah, you know... Notes. Yeah, I would just go through it, Sister Sherry. If there's I'm going to go through this also. Yeah, I do feel it's well, very important, and you do need to understand yeah. all this. There's no point giving you half going messages. Yeah, you that's need to what I Real yeah, training I, I, and real potential comes with being taught properly. That's my and opinion. That's what we want right. to do for you guys. We want to teach you properly. And yeah. remember, everything and is there to go back over. And I, wanted to, yeah. and I just wanted to add in, if you feel like you don't know what to put in or you don't have anything to put in if if you eat every day all you have to do is just take a little piece of whatever it is you're eating sit it aside and that can be your offering to say thank you to whoever you call upon yes. to help you through your daily life um, so you don't have to have anything like i mentioned or you know whatever no 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 no, no. these things are just we to, start to, to help you yeah, to I'll help you so you can get, you know, to thinking about it. So, um, yeah. Guys, so I've not even that. got an yet. 
I'm we'll do this. Yet. We'll do this list, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the old often things. Yeah. So you don't need to put loads out, and you okay, don't I'll need to have your own plates for each and They can come and eat from the same plates, okay? As long as you yeah. We'll explain all that. Let's just share it all, and then we'll explain right. all that. Here we go. Okay? Right, on you go, guys. Right, so so what do you need for an altar? Altar 2... Oh, Altar tools don't have to be complicated or costly. You don't really need anything other than what you have on your hand. But you might want the customary tools of the Wiccan trade. Okay, so here is the list. So rit ritual tools are, a indiv are as individual as the witch who uses them. But it helps to know what the basic tools are and how to use them. In the old Wiccan, there were specific rules about these things. They seemed to like the rules. Now in modern Wiccan, your own heart is your best guide to what you need on your altar. But since you need to know the rules before, you can break them, break them down and read on. A witchy tip. Don't have an altar. Altar tools are Wiccan ritual tools. You need them even if you don't have an altar. If you haven't decided yet whether you should have one or why you need an altar, then just sit and think about it. Look into it. See if you think that that's a good thing for you. You don't have to have a table. You could do it up on your fireplace. You could do it on a, fire, a fireplace floor. You could do it outside. Wherever you feel is going to be a good place for you. But what you've got to remember, it's got to be convenient for each season. Everywhere, especially in the UK, the weather is terrible. So you don't want to be sitting out there in blasting rain while it's, you know, and some of you might like it, but I'm just saying. Okay. So this is going to be, what I'm going to be explaining to you actually helps you to understand your basic altars. Okay. But there are some other bits that I've found in it that are the more ritual type of old tools that you can use as well when your magic becomes a little bit more stronger and a bit more out there. So obviously the first one is an anthem. The ritual knife or an anthem is one of the prime Wiccan old tools. It is pronounced A-H-T-A-T-H-A-M-A-Y or it's a H T H A W M A Y. Traditionally black handled, the anthem lives in the east, the direction that represents mind, thought, and choice. An anthem doesn't have to be metal. You can find these in shapes and elements of wood or even carved stones if you prefer. It's not used as a physical knife meaning it's not for cutting physical things it's just for cutting energy that is used in your magic okay or for directing energy and things like that mm -hmm. physical knife anyway but a symbolic one anthems hold yang which is god and energy anthems are used to direct energy typically in casting ritual circles and recalling them they may also be used to cut energy ties Ordinarily, an anthem is not used to cut anything of the physical realm, which is our plane. Then you've got your bells. Bells are like the voice of the goddesses. When you ring one, it brings divine attention to you and your attention to the divine. A bell with a lovely tone will be carefully, uh, beautifully healing energy to you. Bells can also be used to clear energy and to end of the rituals is also a good time for this but unwanted energy crops up during a ritual you can use the bell to dispatch it so really what you use your bells for is to remove any negative or unwanted energy or energy that doesn't serve your purpose of your ritual and to just obviously help to call on the higher and divine energies to come into your practice it's a way of reaching out to them it's like calling on a telephone Candle direction colours. One candle for each of the directions colour-coded 
are often used on a Wiccan altar. One would go in each appropriate direction. So for the north, you can have a black, a green or a brown candle. For the east, yellow or white. For the south, red or orange. And for west, blue or aqua. And for your centre, you can use the candles such as white, silver or gold. Now, this will normally represent either the spirit or if you are like us and you're witches, then you will have gods and goddesses that you represent. The gods are always the gold and the goddesses are the silver as well as are made in the moon as well. And obviously our brother sun is normally a yellow or or an orange because he's of a fire element. Candles are used to invoke and to hold the powers of each direction. So calling from the north, south, east, west and the pillar. Okay, calling in all of the energy. So this can also represent your four colours, your four directions as well. There are so many different aspects to understanding that. Often larger candles, such as pillar candles, are used to represent the gods and the goddesses. These are usually set on either side of the pentacle or somewhere in the centre of the altar. Other options are having just one large candle for the great goddess of three, white, red and black, for the maiden, mother and the crone. When they go, when they go is up to you. Where they go is up to you. Somewhere they won't drip on delicate items or they won't catch fire. Always be fire safety. These, right, so, I'm, sorry, I'm losing where I am. These candles invoke the energies of the divine, okay? So they, the, the higher energies, the energies that can help you to manifest your desires and your magic and all that stuff. So chalices, the Wiccan chalice is one of the most important altar tools. It signifies the mother goddess. As such, it is a yin altar tool. Some people like very fancy jeweled cups for their altars, but this is not necessary. A cup of wine, like a, a wine glass or a material or like a, some other form of a material cup, even a bowl. Okay, anything that can hold water and hold that element. Just something that holds the water and ideally is round or curvy is good. Silver is always nice for the goddess tools. A silver chalice is a perfect Wiccan chalice. The altar chalice is placed on the west, the direction of water and the yinist of the yin. The Wiccan's chalice is used for ceremonial drink, offering lapidations to the divine and holding the salt water solutions for cleansing your altar tools, for putting maybe into one of your rituals or your spell, maybe for a cleansing. You can use your, your chalice as well as using your cauldron and other things as well. So the next one I wouldn't really say is a tool. But they are most definitely very important in this as well. And that's the deities, okay? Images of representation of any gods and goddesses who are special to you are always welcome on the altar. Though, of course, we could not respectfully consider them an altar tool. They are more than a reminder of divinity. Statues of the gods and goddesses can actually hold the vibration of the divine. So your altar becomes a living temple, a place where the divine dwells and helps you in your magic. Lapitation dish. A lapitation dish or bowl or a cup can go in the centre ready to receive offerings for the gods and goddesses. You can also use your altar chalice or your cauldron for that purpose. Later, or pour or bury the offerings in the earth or into living water, rivers, lakes, etc., to carry them to the divine. Then you have offerings. When you would honour the divine with a gift of thanks or prayer, you can bring them to the altar as an offering. 
Often flowers are kept on the altars as an offering. Anything that is beautiful or special to you or symbolic of the purpose for the offering can be offered. It is probably not necessarily to point out that the offering should not be anything that could harm anything. But just in case, I'll point this out to you. For one thing, since the divine lives in all things, anything you harm is an injury to the divine. A problematical, it's problematical. You'll be giving the offerings to the earth later. So if you give the offerings to the earth later, you don't want to be putting anything like plastics or anything like that that does not dissolve in nature. You want to put things in nature and back to Mother Earth and Mother Nature and your deities that are safe and environmental friendly. Guys, it's very exactly. important. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm going too far. Off, um, down my page here around a minute. I'm trying to find my way off. There's so much writing. Offerings are one of the most overlooked practices in Wiccan today, yet one of the increase in spiritual powers and importance. A lot of people do not give offerings and give things out to their deities, and it's very important to show and to do that, in my opinion, and in my sisters, I know they do the same. Offerings are very important. It shows that respect and that dedication to your deity. It shows that relationship that you and that deity has, okay? It's very, very important. Nothing goes more further than respect of those that help you, okay? And you are their children. Pentacle. The pentacle, a five-pointed star with a circle, usually is placed in the center of the altar. The pentacle is one of the most important altar tools, offering protection and power in magic work. Salt water. A small bowl of water with salt dissolved in it for cleansing. This would be appropriate in the centre. Alternatively, the altar chalice may be used to hold the salt water also. Water and salt are both purifying agents, not only in the physical realm, but to the electric, uh, electric as well. Salt water also represents the energies of earth and water. United, the ocean womb, which gave birth to all life on the planet. So while this may seem a insightful addition to your old tool, it holds great power. Fence or feathers. Some representations of air, commonly something scented like incense, essential oils or smudging or or else a flying bird's feather goes in the east. It represents air. Secret scents are used to cleanse an area Enter energetically, call in certain powers or help witches shift consciousness. Feathers can also be used to cleanse energy fields and to fan incense for smudgings and cleansings. Stones or crystals. For the earth element in the north, stones and sometimes crystals are used. These bring in earth energy, which helps with grounding except perhaps the quartz crystal. Gemstones also carry certain energies which can be invoked by having them on your altar. Another option to have elements of nature, such as plants or animals that represent the earth itself. So animals that are represented to each thing. So you could have a dolphin for your water. You could have a dragon for your fire. You could have um, air. You could have a bird for air. And then you could have, right, so we've done dolphin, we've done fire, we've done air. Earth. And earth obviously could be like a dog, a wolf, mm -hmm. an elephant, anything like that. Just an animal that represents all four of those elements. Okay. You could do all the things. So many different incorporations. Mm -hmm. Wands. Water. Wand, no, like, that's everything. Water and everything. Yeah. The wand is like a portal. Hand version uh, is, is like a portable hand version of a broom. Mm -hmm. There is a theory that originally one instrument performed all of the purposes served by the two today. A wand can be made of any natural material. Wood is traditionally since all wood have unique power. You may like to choose the wood to suit your particular needs. 
Wands can be used for divinization and channeling magic energy. They can be used to cast and to recall circles in place of the anthem. The magical wands goes in the south for the power of the will, magic and transformation. It also represents yang or god energy. So some of the other altar tools that you may be, uh, you need to know, in my opinion, there are additional Wiccan tools which may be kept near the altar or on it or elsewhere in somewhere that is quite close to it. So like for me, I've got my altar tools and stuff all over here. But when I'm not using certain things, I've got my cabinet here. OK, so it's not that far and it's still in the same room. OK, mm -hmm. so it's still getting the energy it needs. So then you've got your basson, which is your broom. OK, a broom is not necessarily classified among the altar tools, but it is indispensably for energetical cleansing and secret space. While handy to keep nearby, brooms are usually to unwindly or to put atop an altar. They're too big, in other words. So when you've got your, your brooms, obviously you use your brooms, your bassons, whatever you like to call them, for your rituals. Like when, like you get certain seasons where you've got to clear out the old energy to let in the new, you would go around your floor sweeping with your broom, putting your intentions of wanting to cleanse if you want to protect someone. It's just like using your wands and everything, but you're using it for your broom. She's also the elements of earth and made by the elements of earth and nature because she's wood. So she holds a lot of magical purposes and is very important to the witch. She also represents the spiritual side of a witch, meaning in flying. Not meaning flying as in we sit on a broom, but meaning the fact that we can travel to other planes in our spiritual form and we would sometimes look like we're flying. We're yeah. going to other dimensions, other places. She actually represents that as well. Okay. So, cauldron. Traditionally, cast iron, a cauldron is like a three-legged rounded cooking pot. You can get them in sizes from huge to tiny. Cauldrons are handy items for burning things like incense and herbs. This is one of the reasons it is one of the most common altar tools. Put an incense charcoal in the bottom and sprinkle the herbs and powder onto it for every, for very pagan incense, so potent, okay? Caution is required when burning anything, of course. Cast iron on legs. If made properly, will keep the heat from the surface. It stands on, but check to make sure. Also be aware of anything flammable near or above the cauldron, particularly sleeves and hair. Cauldrons can also be used to hold witch's brew. This is a magical spell in liquid form. These range from simple salt waters, purifications to complex spells. Working knives. Also, the cauldron represents the maiden and the goddess's womb. She, uh, our goddess, Mother Earth, Mother Nature, whatever you like to call her, she has the womb of birth and life. She is what will bring the power and the energy to your ritual when you're setting her up with the coals, the different herbs and things. You're asking her to birth what you're wanting to reality. Okay, so always remember, it's really, really important to make sure you've got some form of burning pot. Even if you don't have a cauldron, a dish or something that is okay at taking heat, anything like that can be used. Remember, not every witch goes out buying tools and stuff. Some of them will use household items to do so. Just make sure that you do it safely. Okay, um, carrying on. Sorry, I, I keep going like one way, then the other way, then up, down, up, that right. <laughs> Working knife. This is another one, also called a baleen. This is a knife you use to cut things, draw lines in the earth or rooms or candles and other functions, and in general cut physical things. Traditionally, the working knife is white handled. This knife usually distincts from the anthem, which is a symbolic knife, only and not used for other purposes by most witches. Not all witches count the working knife as one of their outer tools, but just a functional implantment. You can put things such as your swords on there that can be used for the same sort of things. Some people like to use swords for casting in groups. 
the difficult uh, the difficulty may be the emotional safety and addition to physical safety of others the symbolic historic inheritance in the sword is more than many sensitive people can cope with especially in a in intimate uh, situation and ritual often awkward around an altar swords may be kept near or under it to be held in the magical aura in the past swords were the anthems of the nobility but the, no um noble noble lility noble lility sorry but these customs is obviously ridiculous from a spiritual standpoint blue blood does not equal spiritual nobility unlike knives however swords have no particular use other than a weapon this link with violence may sword undiversible as the article for most people so if you like one thing i want to explain to you okay is when you get certain tools like you've got your knives and things like that you may not feel very comfortable with knives and stuff and you may think that knives uh, represent uh, violence and bad energies and things like that if you don't want to use an anthem, I don't have an anthem because I'm not very comfortable with knives. You can use your wands, you can use a pen, you can use your finger, you can use anything that you want that you can move around to bring the energy in. Okay, guys, you don't have to go and get a knife. Outer cloths. An outer cloth is optional, it's not important, but it is very good to put up on your outer. It makes it look very fancy. It helps to store and hold that energy. And if it's got symbols and things on it, even more so, it will bring the energy and the power to the table. It'll stop dripping wax from going onto your floor or onto your wood or whatever sort of table or area you've got. And it reduces the hazards of uh, fires and stuff, okay? And most witches do use different types of altar cloths on their altars. Just remember that they're ones that can be easily washed because you're going to get a lot of wax fall on your altar cloths. So anything you want charged with magical energy. When you want to charge something with magical force, you can, you can put it on your altar for a time. A full circle or of the moon is a standard time frame this could be a spell near new old this could be a spell on new altar tools crystals deities or symbols of something you would like to have more of in your life whether whatever would benefit from being infused with the spiritual power so bring anything onto your hour that you know is going to be useful for you in that ritual in in that practice and it being what you want it to be okay then you've got your book of shadows if you have a book of shadows it should be kept on your altar profoundly it is one of your most important altar tools if your altar is not private enough or you can't keep it there for another reason then keeping it under your altar is best if you have other books that you use for representation for spells or rituals, it may be handy to keep them nearby also. It's better to remain within your casting circle when forming magic than leaving it to look for something. You need the full potential and attention on what you're doing. Spells and spell casting materials. Spells which don't belong elsewhere are usually kept on the altar and materials for future spells kept within the energy field they may be stored under the altar or nearby then you've got a songbook songbook if you have a collection of songbooks with chants you like to sing it is useful to keep that on hand also you've got tokens of helpers your altar is also an appropriate place for symbols of and offerings to any guides or special beings who help you remember the witch's silver rule and now having said all about these go ahead and uh, these go aheads and these don't go aheads i just want you to just take this information on guys and to, to just realize um, what i'm saying to you because magic is very imp important and just remember that do what feels right to you it's your energy, it's your magic, okay? 
as long as you do the basic information and research and study and learning about your tools, your diet how you do certain spells and castings, how you protect yourself, what all of these tools and things represent to you, you'll be well on your way to starting to cast. But it is really important to have knowledge and to know yeah. that in the meantime, do what's right for you. Anybody can sit here like us and give you advice, but in the end, your magic will become your own and you will find the elements that maybe you learnt from us may become something else. Oh, yeah. We are just giving you the broad outline of what to do to keep you safe. What you bring into your altar, what you bring into your practice and into you is completely up to you as long as you remember to stay positive and do your energy for the better. Don't do castings and that to do negative or bad things do it to do better this is what you should be doing okay honor your heart okay and feel proud of what you put out there being a witch is so much more than just casting spells when you become a witch because you have a passion you have a love for what you do you want to make the world a better place you want to put good things back into things that are missing it like nature and people and all these sort of things Witches don't become witches just because they feel like it. We do it because we've got a passion and because there's a love for our wealth and for who we are, okay? So just choose what is right in your heart and what's in your soul. Your soul is your spiritual place and the one thing that knows what's truly right for you, your heart and your soul. Listen to that always, okay? And always your mind as well. A lot of you'll find that when you start doing this, a lot of your energy will talk to you and communicate with you through symbol, sight, through mind, by talking to you. Learn yourself to listen to that. Don't always think that that voice in your head is just you talking back to yourself. It's not. It's your consciousness and it's them trying to communicate with you. Learn to tap in. Take the advice I've given you about all of these altar tools and all these things you can do. I hope you've wrote them all down. And just remember, you don't have to go out and buy these things. You can find things in the house to represent those things. But research, study and all that, and you will be able to come to a better understanding of what it is. So that's all of the information that I got today. Thank I hope you, sir. Yeah, you pretty much covered it all, really. Yeah, I have worked my ass all week. All week the, main thing, the main thing is <laughs> you never to good. stress. Don't stress. No. Use yeah. what yeah. you have. Use what you want. And never, I mean, you can go out in the woods and get, you know, get stuff and not have to go out and, you know, and buy anything. It's yeah. all what you feel you. that you want to use. Yeah. Yeah. And You're remember, guys. Because it's yours. It's yours. Go on, sis. You go, Drew. Go on. Remember, guys, when I first started my path, my aim was to sh show appreciation for being now clear in what I wanted in life and being clear in my energy. So mine was to build, to show appreciation every day and to thank, for just thank the the person, the thing, the, <laughs> the goddess. Santa Marta essentially at the end of it when I did the research. But what changed in me because at first I was just, I knew I could light a candle, I knew I could put incense out at this point in time. I researched the putting the water out, researched the putting out the stones, I researched all of that like, to represent your earth, air, fire, and water. And I just kind of took it from there and have faith every day to say thank you for that experience, thank you for giving me the clarity in my mind. And then slowly as you keep mm -hmm. taking these classes, slowly as you keep doing your own little research and things and what you know and all as well, you'll, you'll, you'll get to place your all uh, Things, as I said, will draw out to you and you'll be like, oh, that could represent Marth, that's a stone. You you'll don't have comfortable. Yeah, all this builds up and you'll yeah. get it to build up as well. It's just a mm. case of, of mm -hmm. trusting that instinct in you. And if maybe you decide one day that you don't want to put the water on the left, sorry, the, yeah, the left hand side to represent the goddess, that for some reason you're drawn to put it in the right, do it. You know, yeah. don't feel as if you need to do it just because of that. Do what you're drawn mm -hmm. to. Stick to your basics until you start, and then 
do that you want. I'm just giving you the basic information, like how it starts out. You know what I mean? Like I said to you before I read this all out to you, your altar yeah. is your own. You put mm -hmm. your stuff where you feel it needs to go. You talk and be how you feel you need to be. But as long as it's respectful and, you know, you, you have gratitude to your deities. Don't be rude or disrespectful or anything yeah. like that. Just don't forget to give them offerings and that, guys. Don't do ask for things and not do things back. You can't do that. Yeah. You're not going to get anywhere in this if you're doing that. Not at all. Even just do what I do. I just sit there. Guys, this is what I do, and I'm not joking. I sit here with a lot of candle. I usually just sit here and I say, thank you very much, guys. Honestly, Santa Marta, mm -hmm. Hecate, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Timber. And I sit and I have a conversation, exactly how yeah. I showed this. Mm -hmm. And when it was up in my bedroom, that's what I'd done. And even just doing that during the day. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thing is, is a lot of people... Will do it. Yeah, like a lot of people when they come into this, they think that the only time they talk to their deities is when they're doing the magic. No, you talk to your deities oh, all the time. They are your soul now, okay? They are with you. You talk to them like we're talking to you. Have a normal conversation with them. Always be open and thankful for what they give you because they give you a lot in life, guys. And like I said to you yeah, when I was reading that out, come into it because it's something you believe in and you want something to be better. Maybe, like Sister Drew said, maybe something really traumatic's happened to you in life and they saved you from that. Or maybe you've seen something in the world you want to make better. Have a reason to be a witch or a spiritual yeah. practitioner, okay? For the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, so. I, and you know, and you go mystical. I was just going to say, anything that happens to me that I feel like it wasn't done on my own. I'll just stand there and say, thank you. Thank you for being there. I mean, you know, because even like, you know, Sherry, you know, just finish saying because a lot of times they're watching you. They're oh, trying to yes. take care of you. They're putting the ideas, the thoughts in your head. So listen to them, you know. I mean, Guys, I know I keep saying this, but what is the chances of a place, a, a business school essentially from Europe who has opened up offices in London, what is the chances of them picking my local council in a small town, as small as we are, out of the full of Lanarkshire, the full of Scotland, what is the chances of that for their very first school to see how it went? <coughs> Do you not think that because I've been trying to manifest in my life for the last year, maybe, really, really manifest it, that my business takes off and that I find my path and that I need to have reassurance that I'm on the path I want to be on? What is the chances of them turning up? I was talking to like two or three of the people at last course and I was telling them about it and what I'm doing. And try to, and I, and I told and I used it as an example, and they said, "Do you know you're probably right because what is the chances of it? So it's obviously my guides and the powers that yeah. be that it's knows that something like that was going to benefit not just me, mm -hmm. but Sister Sherry Mystical, anybody that I can advise advise on anything I've done, anything I've learned, is a benefit to us all. So." I feel it and is, I really yeah. do feel it and I'm proud of it. Yeah. I'm proud of the fact that I know I've manifested that team coming here because they're, they're free. Well, that's what country. I'm saying, you did. Yeah. You did. Like you sat there for ages and ages saying, oh, I, I, you know, I want to be able to get my business out there properly. I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to do that. And sister kept working on her spells, kept putting her intention into what she wanted. And what happened? Yeah. They turned up on her doorstep and then she's now graduated. Guys, like, remember. Things happen. And remember so as well, when so I started here. saying I wanted to make my own oils, I said on Facebook about jars, I think it was. And then yes. a lady turned up on my messenger saying she had a full big box of oils and everything. That is mostly what that stuff is. Do you remember I shared it with you? It was as if the universe was saying, right, okay, here it is. Here that is then. Here that is then. Go on with it, <laughs> you know? And it yeah. was one thing after another, so I couldn't ignore that. And then Liam wasn't paying attention to this dining room as much as he used to. So I thought, this is my chance, you know? Yeah. So you've got to trust all those, uh, trust the process, keep mm -hmm. doing the work, 
keep having faith, keep saying thank you, keep helping people when you can, and trust that it's you that's helping these people and it's your energy that's that's helping yourself and just keep saying thank you and be appreciative of it and your all up is where you do that along with your yeah. everyday things like I talk to the moon whenever I can even if it's daylight and I see her yeah. <laughs> we things like that you know keeps you connected yeah. just learn to li like listen to them because a lot they, they are going to bring a lot of whatever comes forward to you they're going to give you ideas plans guides and all that. <coughs> you really do need to learn to listen and understand when they're coming to you in that way you do need to do that so mm -hmm. yeah right. and and drew i mean as much as you help people i mean i know sherry helps people too but you just you know you're like um i don't know you know, like for me, for example, all the technical stuff and all of that, you know, and you explain to me and everything. You have a lot of, you are blessed. You have a lot of stuff that drops in your lap. You know, yeah, you put definitely. it out there that you need, you know, certain things and it drops in your lap. I don't know yeah. about Sherry because I, I don't know her situation, but I know it does with you. And that's exactly what it is. You know, you're you're in the spot like you say for this that you graduated from what are the odds of it showing yeah, up there where small you need it? Yeah. yeah yeah and sherry's always you know she's always helping and you know explaining things and you know doing videos and and show so things come to you in a you know Sherry's got a so sex dance when she's they want, me, they, want me yeah. the, they want me to be the they want me to be the educator. They want yeah. me to educate. Mm -hmm. They want because I do get my words out the right way. I am listened right. to, and people take notes. Oh, muffled up, and um, <laughs> you know, like for me, yes, they do things for me, and I get things that I want. But with me, I have to do a little bit more work because of my title. Because of being a priestess, you have to put a mm -hmm. bit more in to get where you want to get. And because I've been doing it a very, very long time, so. It's a little bit different to just starting out. You know what I mean, it's not, it's not the same because it's been, I've been like it for so long now. But yeah. they do give you what you want as long as you have sure. that respect and that gratitude for them, and you do it the right and way. Remember, do. I think mm -hmm. as well that that they know your path isn't here in the UK. I think they know that your no, path. No, and I do believe that well. a lot of it's on hold. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is on hold. Like, they give yeah. me all these plans, these ideas, and I take that with heart, and I'll do everything they're telling me to do. But I don't think that my my spirituality opening my shop and that is not supposed to fully happen until I'm in Texas. That's what they're waiting yeah. for me to do, is to go to mm -hmm. Texas. I've, they've told me that, that your place yeah, is Yeah, I definitely Texas, feel that as well. I feel as if so, it's kind of you know, practice here. Yeah, that's what that's yeah. not so much practice. So I've done this for a very long time, but no, I mean like your flowers and how um, you push them out. Yeah, business. they want me to do the flower side to bring that into yeah, witch stuff. I mean. they, to, they don't want me to do real flowers now. They want me to do artificial flowers. Well, that may be the best way. So I'm going to be doing that. So I am learning all that. I'm learning the dragon and the fairy stuff to learn you guys as well. There's so exactly. much that they're doing with me. It's more educational mm -hmm. though. It is more educational and stuff. So. And mysticals have her hands on. She shows us. She gets yeah, she right nitty gritty and shows us. She's got magical fingers. I tell William. Oh, she has mystical with magical fingers. Well, yes. right now, right now, my nails are all retarded. So, oh, you could do different colors. Do you know? What Don't I worry about it. So my my polish keeps coming off, so I did them to different colors. Oh, mine's <laughs> just really look, yeah. look at that, guys. Look, look. look. One nail got rid of my nail varnish. Work that out. I've got nine fingers <laughs> with it on and that one's took it off. I can never keep them polished, but at least they're I'm growing. Again. Again. At least they're growing again. Oh, they're lovely. And then the, no, that's what's going to happen. They're going to get to a nice size. And then you know what's going to happen. It'll be spring. They're and then all you'll going to break. Start again. <laughs> well, they break and then they grow back and they break. Yeah. And they go back. But... Yeah. What's Luna saying? My mom had long. Ones. I didn't Ooh. fully see. I yeah, didn't fully see all of your video yeah. last night, Christine. I didn't see all of it, but I did. What I did see of it, it was really good. So make sure you do go over and check it out and stuff, guys. And I will be bringing like more information and stuff about the fame and about the dragons and that, like proper. Yeah, in depth. That's not I, work, I work with real. I work with we'll I work with dragons and I work with the fae. So I've got a bit of a different understanding in another way. So. 
Remember, we're always open yeah. to subjects to talk about on Mystical's mm -hmm. channel, guys, mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. if we, if there's ever anything you want us to talk about, even though we know Sister Sherry's going to do things on her own channel, not everything is for us always to be together. But just remember that if you want to talk about anything, we're always well, well want to talk about anything over there as well. Mm -hmm. It's just so we keep pushing out live streams on a Tuesday. But it's not necessarily these to be witchy or paranormal. It could be about absolutely anything. Yeah, no, so that you put your link in the room. Put, uh, Christina, put your link in the room. I don't, I'm not this one of these people that are bothered about you sharing your links out for your shows. At the end I'll of the day... That. Christina's got an, a, like a really good show when it comes to her education with Luna at right the minute as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, so they're pushing go out education over and check them out as well. They've put a lot of work and time into it as well, and they're doing absolutely mm -hmm. amazing, I must say. You are doing really good with that yeah. side of it. So and remember, guys, we're all here to help up. each other, and it's anything to help teach other people, anything yeah. that you think is going to help somebody somewhere. Maybe you sit in one day and you remember a little tip. Put it down in a video. It doesn't matter if you remember that that's going into your mind for a reason. So it's maybe to do a video because somebody needs that information. You just mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. Put it this way. Look at what the lady grave dancer done. She was pushing out videos just really have some way yeah. to document her stuff. And You're everybody doing it. Like this. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. But it is a very good show. And that's what I'm saying. Like, um... In, in this community, nobody's better than anybody else. It doesn't matter if one person's done a show and then somebody else wants to do the same exactly. thing. It's all about bringing yeah. out as much knowledge and evidence as you can. It's not about, oh, one done better than the other. We all should be a team. We're doing this okay. for a reason. Remember, we've all, all got, you know, all got different views on it. Yeah, and it's there's so many views. Like, yes, I agree. Not all dragons and fairies are elemental. But they yeah. are all based in nature. They are based in nature. Oh, yeah. They work with nature, e energy, and things like that. But they're not all elemental, and they're not. You know what I mean? They they come. Yeah, fairies, for instance, are in another realm. Okay, they're in a realm that is. I say that their realms in our woodland realm. Okay, oh, but yeah, they're they're on a level. Yeah. Even though to us it looked like they're flying around in our realm, they're not. They're flying in their realm. You're going into their space. Do you know what I mean? Because they're slightly higher than the us. breaks in the yeah. trees yeah. is yeah. their way into the next world. Yeah, the it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Portals yeah. and stuff a, like that in there. Yeah, I thought I've been a fairy sit in on the windowsill next door, up in that. Did, did you show me that picture? I took okay. This I took a picture. Okay, and this I remember is somebody showed me a picture of Fairy. Well, I took a picture, and I immediately I had showed a few people, and like when I sent it to my friend in South Africa, she looked at it, she commented on it, she even put a uh, filter on it to try to get as much detail pulled in because I don't know how to do that, and she sent it back to me in different in different ones with the uh, filters on it to show it to me it is yeah and, and then after she sent it to me it disappeared and off my main picture disappeared, it disappeared. of the fairy oh. yes the fairy a lot of the you will find that a lot of the fae do not like being caught in pictures i have i have caught oh, loads no. i've caught loads of pictures of fae and they've been in there me and other people have seen them and you've gone back and they're not there anymore they don't like yeah. to be seen unless they're yeah. meant to yeah. it's a little you know what I mean? yeah. the window was there house. and the yeah. fairy was completely gone yeah and i've got I it on my channel and... though huh yeah you've yeah, the one, one, yeah on one was... there is, there's a one where the fairy goes above i think my head that wanted to be seen oh, really? yeah mm -hmm. that one was one of my energies i work with so I know ah. that she was all right with being seen. Yeah. But I, I wanted to be seen, so I think, so we all started the, to believe. The one you see on the panel that night when I was on there is one that's been with me since I was five. She's the one that used to come and tap on my window with the other fae and come into my bedroom. So she's been with me since I was a little girl. So she's all right with opening up when she wants to, you know what I mean? But a lot of them are very secret and don't like... Yeah. To show themselves to everybody. But at least I, I know it wasn't crazy because I got it sent but to you her. Was she to saw see it. it, did the filter That's on what it, it and everything. That's <laughs> what it was, notice. It wasn't yeah, meant it for anybody was. else's eyes. It was only meant for your, it was yeah. only you that was meant to see it. If well, you it see Fae and you picture. see dragons and things, <laughs> yeah. it's meant for you. Dragons and Fae do not just come to anybody. That they're meant, you know, if they're meant for you, they mm -hmm. are. We've all got guardian dragons. 
Like we've got guardian angels and whatever else. She doesn't appear again. She's yeah. off in a machine. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. like we've got a guardian. We've got guardian angels that we're born with. We've got a guardian dragon we're born with. It's within you, mm -hmm. and on the outside of you. It's just finding it. That's what I'm saying. There's so many different representations mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, Luna was in chat when the patient I was literally sitting there. I think I had Chris from Ghost Squad. He was on the panel with me, and there was one of his friends, one other guy. And we yeah, no, it was, me. It was the one with them. It was Sister Drew was on there, and Chris's face was like. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's singing. It was that <laughs> one of the first times we were up with you, I think. It, yeah, I think it was. we had done the interviews yeah. with us. I think, we did I think it was the first that. time we were actually yeah. up just doing like a hangout stream, and he's like, sure. No. Something's come out your wall. I think it's a fairy. Sure. Hey, did <laughs> you see that? What? There was something just gone past your head and looked like a fairy or something. I was like, let me have a look. And I was like, yeah, it is. Well, the next yeah. time I catch one, nobody's going to see it. I'll be like, I got a picture, but you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just have to believe me. I won't be able to hold it in. Yeah. I don't think. I'll be like, look. I hope it was the interview Chris was doing. <laughs> I think, I, think that, I think it was that, that Chris and Drew were doing an interview and there was yeah. there was me on there and there was somebody, there was that other guy that you guys spoke to that was oh, on there. Oh, well. yeah. What was his he name? Kept rewinding, he kept rewinding it back to look at it. Was it, I, it was either that Stephen guy that used to come up first way back then or it was Lewis. Either side. It, it, it was Lewis. It was Lewis. Stephen. Yeah, or, or Hingy, uh -huh. I think it was Lewis, yeah. Can y'all hear that rain coming down? It's hard. It's been raining since early, early, early this morning. It's been pouring. It's supposed to rain for four days. It's, it's been snowing up here, but it's not too oh, yeah. It's just so cute. Oh. Yeah, but my little one here, look. It's the emerald yeah. because um, Master signs emerald. So she's got a little emerald oh, yeah. heart. Oh, she's lovely. Yep. Cute, cute, both of them. Have you, got, have you seen my dragon? Have you seen my dragon, guys? Look, look at my yes, dragon. That's why I love her. I did. get my star now. Mm -hmm. I think, I actually think Kerry or something got me that. I can't even remember where I got this. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, I have yeah, some little neat. babies. See, I've they never ever really so looked at dragons here. as mystical. I've always thought they were kid on, but I look at them in a different light now. Mr. Drew, yeah. like dragons are part of the mm -hmm. divine. They are. Yeah, divine. that's what I'm saying. I didn't like, used to know that. Yeah. They bought me this because yeah. of the oh, dragon. Types, oh wow! Be careful, I you want more of those. See, well, this is and this is glass. That's the eye. Oh, is that? Which, oh, it's glass. Got, right, okay. Yeah, it's glass, and he got me a uh, a necklace too, a pendant that matches. Matches She's this also. Guys. They're very they're, they're they're very spiritual dragons and stuff, and they bring so much yeah. to your life if let you me allow show them. You, in. Let me show you something. You have to be cautious and stuff, just like you do ah. with the Fae. The Fae you have to be cautious Twice with as well. They're not dangerous or evil, but they they some of them do not like humans for good reasons. I, you'll come to understand it like, when I talk. You understand them now. Yeah, good stuff. She's looking. She's all in the eye. Look. Lee bought me these. Look. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, I like the baby oh, no. dragon. No, they're so one. cute. Oh, is that those thing. dino things that were on TV? Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they're cute. Okay, wait. They used yeah. to be in this dinosaur um, cartoon, weren't they? With like the dino babies. Oh, or yeah, something. remember that? What was it called? And, then, and that the wee baby dino babies. One. Yeah, dino yeah, babies. Baby was what it was called. Sit on the high chair and start going. Ee! Yeah. Oh, I love that wee cartoon I saw the morning. That was when Kerry was young. That was the little baby. The little they're baby. They're so cute. Ones in the air. Guys, the, oh. you know. Oh. You hear so many stories about different energies and different things that people really look negatively on dragons and stuff, and they're really not yeah. bad if you know how to work with them and that. You just have to take a lot of precaution with them because they're very ancient energy, very, very powerful. See, so, I think because I yeah. always just, when I started getting into this, I think I, I focus so much on the ghosts and then the other en energies around the ghost hunting and then my witchy stuff together that I've never really gave anything another chance. 
except from like the Bigfoot and things, I know about that because of Mike and things. So I think the dragons, and also I want to do the star seed and things live stream. So please think about doing that with us in the next couple of weeks on Mystical's channel or something. Even oh, you want to do that? I've got the videos on the star seeds and stuff like that. I've done all of yeah. those shows and that, didn't I? Where I, I want to, yeah, seeds. I want to get us up and have a little bit. I talk about it live. Maybe even join us. Some of you guys want to build mm -hmm. your confidence up. Yeah. Come and have a chit chat with us. You can, can even talk keep about them on my camera. Channel too. Well, that's what Sis was saying. Maybe we could do it on your channel on that, Sis. So maybe yeah. we could, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to yeah. tell you about so much stuff, but you guys have just got to be open to wanting to do it. And obviously going into Fae and Dragons, you've really got to know you want to do it. You cannot turn away from them just like you can't turn away from the craft. See, I'm starting to learn about the Fae because when we do my mystical walks now, I've actually yeah. been, anytime I've been walking down the street and things, I've been looking at a couple of trees and I know there's a few so i am going to plan all my stuff for like when the sun starts to come out about spring so in the meantime i've got a few locations that i have got that's going to begin up on the date thing on the website so where people actually can go in and book it on a calendar so i've got a few places i'm going to add to that so i just need to check with the council and things because i'm bringing people out into the woodlands and under my kind of I've got to do it properly. Like ask the council. If you are gonna, if you are gonna sign away them, from things, if you are gonna try and go out there and you are gonna try to talk to them and stuff like that, don't call them fairies. They find that very offensive. Okay, they don't like being. Well, called no, fairies. I'm not talking they, to they, 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 like they, that. Yeah. Say to anyone if you do want to talk to them and stuff. Remember, if you talk to them, you open that doorway to them straight away. So really oh, make yeah. sure you know what you're talking about. Don't. There's certain things you can't talk to them like they don't like being called fairies, even though they are fairies. They like to be called either like little people, uh, yeah. the people like the brown house fairies. They don't mind being called the house, you know, the, the house fairies, brownies, and things like that. But there's just certain ways you talk to them, and yeah, I wouldn't talk to that. Yeah, I'll do. But, I call I mean, a I'm lot of them forest. Them. I call a lot of them forest folk because they're all kind of like forest folk yeah. as well. They're very Next happy with that end. forest folk, little people. Yeah, that's they that's like being called. Kind of, um, what's that guy's name that does it on? The, I think he's Welsh. What's his name? And he's got a lot of the th them up about. I don't know if they're real or not. There's a bit of controversy behind it. Um, yeah, no. But he's got them up, and that's what he calls them, is the forest folk. So that's where yeah, I got forest that folk. from. Yeah, forest folk is yeah. another one that's okay. But like yeah, I said, I'm bringing so out some videos this week on the dragons and the fairies. Mean? So it's going to give Heck you all the information something. on how to communicate, connect, how to talk to them correctly, how to bring them in. Gives you detail and like makes yeah. you understand, you know, if you're going to do it, you've got to really be dedicated to it because it's like the craft. You can't, once you call them in and you dedicate with them, you can't leave or anything like that. You're not allowed to do Edwin that. Edwin Sanders, his name is, guys. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I've seen that. Is that the one where they've got those little fairy things? They look like stick, they're like stick people with like. Right, well, a lot of people think he's fake, okay? And but then I'm not sure. Yeah, but. I'm telling you guys, I have watched this guy's guy for a few years now, and I'm not joking. There is no way it is fake. These things are in the woods. I'll share, the, share it now. He's I've not seen his videos. All I've seen is videos. Ah, the only thing I, I will, I will let you see. Do it no justice. Because you guys know your stuff. So I'll share his channel with you and you can tell me what you think if you think he's, the videos are fake or what. I think there's a few of them really real. And remember, you've got to remember, it's deep in the Welsh hills here. It's not just like going down to his local park. This man yeah, no. walks for miles upon miles and he spends about, for, for the morning to noon, to, to the darkness comes really in the woods, sitting there and waiting on them. I don't know, maybe it could be, but I, I give everybody the benefit. Of the no, benefit. that's what I'm saying, yeah. Like, I can't say it is or it isn't because the pictures didn't really do it justice when he was trying to put yeah. the picture up of him. You can't really tell if they are or not. But, I know. Cherry, okay. you're saying, do you know the dark man who's linked to the fairy queen? Well, I'm not being funny. There's light and dark on both sides. So the fairy man would be the darker version of, obviously, the fae in the light. So he's more than likely probably uh, energy that... Um, manipulates probably goes off look like some negative thing that i said to be like take children 
that are human and replace them with like fake children and Matt, he probably does this as well you know what i mean so yeah it, this is just this is there's a lot story. of math behind the legend as well the main yeah. guys well i've got Would all you of like that us to talk about that? do you want us to do a stream one night talking more about the myths and things behind the legends of the fairies the brownies and the little folk sure whatever y'all decide well i do have it in my content in my content i've actually got the history and all of that about yeah, them maybe we should, maybe we should even play a little bit about it then one night We'll do yeah. a stream on it, guys, because there is people that's probably watching this that's trying to learn. So for all those people that is listening and you maybe want to learn about it, I know this is Witchy 101, but just watch out for Sister Share, maybe I or Mystical, and we'll do more. But they're all linked. They're all linked to the spirituality and witchcraft and all that yeah. as well. You can bring them into your magic and that. So it'd be very good to have your, your dragons and that if you it's want to. Hat, but... Would that be I'm a lot of work you, and that. a lot of research and a lot of dedication to those two energies though they don't just come talking to you and working with you like your guard guides and stuff you've got yeah. to really build relationships with them definitely yeah okay. i know they do it's hard see to it. see, but that's a i don't know if you can see it or not hold up let me that's a dragon that i well let me get it right right there you can Ooh. see the oh that, wow i'm nice. telling you that that on my wall it goes all the way across but i didn't have no room for the bookcase and i had to put the bookcase oh, in front yeah. oh right there i've seen right no, there. You're yeah it's nice right. maybe we could talk about that yeah. a little bit we could try and find something yeah. out about the there. dark man there who's linked to the fairy now. queen and see if that Definitely comes out we'll yeah. research. that's yeah. nice isn't it because none, none of us knows everything comes even though i oh, you know I, I am studying and learning and I don't know want to learn we're all learning you know of course we want to hear more about it so i think we should yeah so we're at one hour 27 minutes are you cold mystical how are you going how are you oh, feeling actually, i'm doing a, i'm doing okay it's not too bad okay? i put a lot of bubble wrap on this window back here I don't know, <laughs> you can see how it says ebay <laughs> i put a wrap in a bubble wrap to keep any cold air from coming in here so yeah, it's not that bad today. I mean, I have my jacket on, and I mean, if I didn't have it, I might be, but I'm not like. Yeah, freezing, <laughs> freezing. It's, it's, it's actually been a really good show. It's been really enjoyable. David so. Larkin as well, Kerry. It's been really good to learn you guys about. Well, Kerry, yeah. you're from the Welsh Hill. You're from Welsh. Well, we'll sorry. So you'll know the myths and legends. I mean, I know Scotland and England has got myths and legends as well, but. The and so is Ireland, but the Welsh myths and legends, I don't think any of us covered yet. So I think we should do that because I do know that there's a lot of like other en energies around Wales and things that we that's not necessarily known to us, much like the like recording things with Wales with, with Ireland. So we'll definitely look deeper into it, I think. We'll start doing, doing more myths and legend type of videos. I'll see if I can get my friend Brian to look into some bits because my my friend Brian actually lives in Ireland. He's Irish and he he's really good with his research and finding some really good bits. So I might get him to find some stuff to do with the folklore. Yeah, for I'll, do the I'll do the Scottish. I'll do Scottish. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of work because, you know, like... Um, with dragons, they're very Germanic um, related. So German, Scotland, Germany, Scotland, all these, they're, like, they're all over the world. Yeah, like, they're very distinct in all of the Celtic places, including yeah. Germany. So, I'm trying to try and find some unique ones. And it's the same that, with the fairies and that as well. You know, they're very unique to Scotland, yeah. Ireland, Wales and England. and oh, They're all over the world, but it's just some places. Yeah, there's, there's so many you could talk about. Yeah, because that's what I want to do, guys. I want to start Beautiful. delving a lot. Before the, the spring and the summer comes back around and we're full back into paranormal ghost hunting stuff, in this season, I think we should cover the like, <laughs> one one of course. But we'll use it as well to, to maybe go... So I, I said my friend, my Good. friend's wife. Right. Oh, so what? <laughs> well, that's okay then. We'll use it as a paranormal thing. Like, what? <laughs> to go in and maybe like more mystical things and I'll do a little bit of research. Oh, it's doing some major game. lightning now. It's coming oh, up across lightning alert. Oh, yes, lightning. thundering and li lightning and 
we'll do Oh, I want we something like little, energy. We'll do yeah. a lot of research see, it came now. We're up learning last about a lot warning. of things. You can't see it. Oh, oh it's gone off. It, it came across the. Uh, we can't see. Oh, Wait, and one making and repairing share it. Definitely, ever we can. Well, I've done a video on repairing ones. I did actually say it in one of the videos, and that. So I will go back to my videos oh, and I'll find the videos I've done. Because see I've got I've got my witchy channel ones that I do all of that in, and I am starting to put them in witchy 102 as well. So you've got some up to date information see. as well. We all know what we're talking about between the lot of us. And I'll now that I've got this by the way, and I've got my um, everything set, my website, my everything is set basically to push on now. There'll be a lot more educational stuff coming from me. I'll yeah, we'll tell do that. more about my stuff. I've Did actually you enjoy got your food, oil, mate. My food, food was lovely. My food Ooh, was beautiful. Um, what's that? What's she saying? They're, they're, do fairies look like? To, to be honest, they've all got very different looks. Need, some of them yeah. have got dragonfly wings. Some have got ones that look like dragon wings. They don't all look it human. Depends. Some of them have got flowers and stuff coming out of their heads, and some of them don't even look human. They look very gargoyle looking and things like that. I was like, going to so say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some of them are see-through, some of them are fluorescent, some of them are full of light, some of them you can't even see a body, you just see a light. Yeah. There's so many different types. So many. So many. Just because, guys, there's different species and things, yeah. there's different, you know, there's different looks, there's different genres and things. Every single, what do they call it, um, like we're humans, there's there's dogs, there's cats, every single group of things, they're all different. They're, you've got your labradors, your collies, you've got your shih tzus, you know, it's every single thing has got loads yeah. of species under it. Just oh, remember that. Yeah, they do. They're very different. They're, none of them are the same. Not all of them look human. We've Some got of them Scottish are brownies. Them. They're just lights and other things like that. And they don't always show to you the way that they would normally look anyway. So they can oh, shapeshift yeah. and change the way that they look as well. Some of them can actually turn into human to trick you as well. They can go fully, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I must say, if you've got a Scottish brown in your house, if there's little things that's maybe bright or sparkling things, if they all keep disappearing, but also, yeah, things things like, I didn't tidy that up. Or you get the little flickers, little flickers at the side of your eyes, another sign of them as well. There's yeah. quite a few that take things. They'll also take things from you if you don't give them offerings or gratitude for what they've helped you in as well. Do yes. not scrub a fairy. Fairies can hurt you, believe oh, me. Yes. They don't want to, <laughs> but they can. If you piss them off, believe they start me. start getting eye problems they and will. things because they said poke your eye. Little but deadly if you, yes. you treat them the wrong way. Very telling careful. You, they are All you do is give them little things. Like, say, oh, see that little pin? I'm I'm laying that out for you. If it's a brownie, of course, in your house, I'm laying that out for you. If you can make use of it, then make use of it. Thank you very much for anything you've ever helped me with in my home. Oh, they'll be around you. Yeah. House fairies are very common in every. Oh no, they're definitely the here. Yeah. To see you or sense them, you know what I mean. They're everywhere, and yeah. they're in your gardens. They love your gardens. Don't go ripping up trees and stuff without asking permission in your garden. Because they do. Do you want to know? When I think they turn up, I think yeah. they turn up when they feel. When you see, when you're like, you know, you've got something that you really need to do. You like, after you've mm. not got enough time in the day, I think they turn up at that point in time. Not that they're on about doing your housework for you, they don't. But I think they turn up about that type of time to give you the energy that you need sometimes, to push on to do hang it. On a minute. Sometimes they can change into certain insects as well, like dragonflies, butterflies and stuff like that oh, to yeah, get yeah, bound easier, Kim. So you could have very well done. Maybe she was going into a certain form. So you see her as a, um, maybe you see her in between going back into a normal form and the dragonfly. But yeah. you could have very well done. They do go round in like dragonfly, butterfly, them sort of animals quite a lot. Yeah, see, it's Just all different energies. Yeah. It's not the same yeah. energies like a spirit and things. It's all not the same different. energy as an elemental. It's, mm -hmm. yeah. They've all got they're their all unique things. Even the ele elemental, you know, the dragons, they're all different. All you have a fairy altar. A lot of people, I've, a lot of the places I've been, especially are around like in the woodlands, there's little... Um, 
like doorways where people have left little flowers and things like that. Because fairy they doors. know it's a fairy door. They must fairy have doors, watched yeah. it for years or something. I've also and, got like little fairy houses that I'm going to put out when I go to Texas. I've got houses for them and everything as well. Um, yeah, when I you do like the altars and stuff for them, you'd put on things like their nuts, you'd put through, they like shiny things, so anything like little jewelry. You might have got those little charms that have got the fairies or they've got the pentagrams. Yeah. Anything that's shiny, anything's pretty and sweet, they love sweet things honey, mm -hmm. milk, cream, cake, right. bread. They love it's all of that. Love it. I told yeah. Lee I want him to make me See, some fairy houses sis. and stuff yeah. like that to put in my That's magical so garden for next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm moving. Yeah. I'm moving my mag magical garden, but where I I'm gonna do it. I want him to get me some fairies and I want him to make them for me so I can place them. You know, like in the pots and stuff That's like pretty. that around the. I um, almost that. Like that as well. They'd like yeah. anything like that. It's all pretty. It, I almost really threw it out. Me. Fairies Remember like we were opening for a hot meal from Kerry? It was still wrapped up, so I nearly threw it out. Yeah, like with, with the Fae, just like with the dragons, they like things that come from your heart and come yeah, with like meaning. It. They don't like mm -hmm. being fooled or mistreated, yeah. you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It comes from your heart. Yeah. So. Yeah. I keep little things on it that... I was attracted but it is getting to nearly one hour and 40 minutes guys i do think i am going to jump yeah, I'm tired. Uh, like, this we'll oh, on, tomorrow. To oh i meant to show you yeah i'm gonna be turning my oh, yeah, computer off because of the lightning yeah that's why yeah. i'm thinking as well because she was saying it was lightning and that so well, let's just show a certificate quickly and then we're going to get off yeah. of here guys but we do appreciate oh wow see Woo I promise to take the skills I have learned to go out into the world, make a make a shed load of cash, have fun and help other people. This is to certify that Andrina Brown has attended and graduated the Rebel Business School awarded by the Rebel team. Hey. So take all the skills that you learned and go oh. make money. Amazing. Good. It is amazing news. Don't yeah. uh, don't forget to put like well done in the ring, guys. I know a lot of you. Thank you, everybody. But we are going to come off of it, my angels. We do very much appreciate you for all coming in here and being with us tonight. We hope that you have wrote the stuff down. Tonight's homework. All I'm going to say to you, maybe just do a little bit of research on the stuff I've spoke to you about today, and just like get to know yeah. your anthems and other things a little bit better. So, you know, so that you're a bit more prepared and that, and write it all down come up with maybe a plan on how you want your altar to look stuff like that you know what Even i mean share it with picture. us if he's a yeah, photo, a picture, uh, and we can share it next week on sister's channel yeah, yeah we'll start to do it next week the... on sister's channel yeah but look out Even for in the clan okay. group yeah we'll do that definitely but look out for us all guys through the week. Look out for Tuesday with Sister Mystical and Sister Drew. And remember, Don't forget to be be on, on a Wednesday and on a Sunday. Yeah. I've got yeah. a meditation stream tomorrow as well, guys. No, not tomorrow. Sunday, I've got a meditation stream and I've got okay. shows out tomorrow as well. So keep your eyes out for them as well. Yeah, it's the yeah, guys, because I'll be back yeah. doing random things now. The course yes, is yes, I will yes. be with back now as well. So we're going to watch out. My yeah, guys. Eli. Eli on Tuesday, mm -hmm. guys. So, yeah, oh, we're yeah. going to go now. Eli. Yeah. Okay. Right, lots of love and night, guys. Thank you for joining. Stay Thank safe you, and good night. In. And merry parting to you all. Bye, guys. See you all. Remember, research and study. Yeah. Make sure you do your altars. Mm -hmm.